good day. Today I'm going to, I just wanted to do a really bright, bold pour today, a bright and beautiful. Um, I do try all colours, I like the, um, obviously in the end my favourites are the really bright and bold colours. Um, so I've got a few mixed up because um, I have intentions again of doing a, a much bigger canvas so I'm just doing a uh, test on the colours, uh, these really nice bright bold colours. Um, we're currently looking like in Queensland Australia where I am at the moment is looking like we're going to have a big storm again. Um, as far as I know most of the fires in Australia are under control and areas having lots of rain so what, what I'm telling you as well is uh, hopefully I don't have a big thunder clap because it seems really um, stormy outside but anyway we'll get going all of the paints that I'm using today are the um, the uh, Montmart Studio Acrylics that's what paints we're using. I've mixed them all up and I've mixed them with the ratio uh, of 70% glue, 30% warm water I add. This is Montmart Clear PVA. I know that all PVAs, clear PVAs don't work. The Elmer's Clear is not nice at all results. But if you're in the USA and you can't get hold of this clear PVA, the Elmer's Glue All is brilliant with the, at a 70% 30 ratio and just add it to your paint slowly stirring until you get the consistency that you require for what particular pour you're doing. For swipes you need it a little bit thinner so it's kind of just leaving a little bit of a trace so a swipe is what I'm doing. If you were doing a dirty cut pour then you need it a little bit thicker than that. That well, yeah. Usually, your spoon or stand, uh, your stirrer or stand up in the paint. Well, that one does. So, but yeah. And I add only one to two. Keep getting asked this question about the recipe every time. And <laughs> one to two Helmar silicon. You can get that basically everywhere, even though it's made in Australia. They still sell it in the US. Supplier to all my um, acrylic pouring materials, uh, I have the supplier in the link below the video in the descriptions and I also have a link there for Montmartre, USA and Canada. So here we go. So I'm going to use some really nice bright bold colours and I've just realised I never did mix my turquoise but Okay, I'll just go. I think I've got plenty to go on with. Um, so I'm going to do my style that I've done, I think, ever since I started pouring this particular swipe style. Um, I like it and I always have good results from it. So I've, I've done some variations with different pouring or what, what I've added to it so for the time being it works good for me so I'm sticking with it so that was the bright orange and this is the um, brilliant red brilliant red I think it's called okay so I'm just going all the really nice bright orange yellow and raspberries so I'm going all the colors of the the berries and now I'm going the lemon 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 just wanted really nice bright bold colors i think one of my first videos i ever did i did really bright bold colors in this same um pouring technique that i that i do um and i've stuck with it obviously <laughs> so i'm gonna stick some of the purple in there that looks a little bit thick that's thickened up just hoping that yeah I don't want to get mud but I just really want nice bright colors I just want something uplifting today a 
had a few um, not so good um, things happening within our family circle, which my daughter-in-law had to go on um, an emergency trip back to the UK because her father uh, is basically dying of renal failure, So, and she's an only child to her father. So that was pretty sad. So she's over there um, lay in the hospital bed with him because they have given him no real hope of surviving. And yeah, so there's been a bit, my husband's coming now, he's gonna just had his shower and finished his day at work. What's happening, darling? Did you mm. want to talk to me in the middle of my, no, you like this paint, this nice bright sink to cheer me up today and Looks I saw good. that. Looks good. Feel good. It's pretty exciting. Pretty bright, isn't That's it? That's the yellow and orange I'm using on my hot. Oh, this is the yellow and orange you're using on your, he's got it, he's making a, or, refurbishing a hovercraft reckons it's going to paint it in the real bright colours oh you've already got the paint oh there you go bright yellow and bright orange oh, we'll have to put, we'll have metallic as well oh lovely we'll have to put that in there on video at the beginning or end of one of these videos so everybody can see your um your handiwork, my dear. Yeah, Your weeks. artistry. <laughs> About three weeks. Tom. About three weeks. Oh, you reckon? Three weeks. We're going. We are going away for a week down to Sydney to visit family, aren't we? Soon. Okay. So um, we've got to fit all that in too. Uh, well, I'm, um, to okay then. See you okay. soon. Yeah. Yeah, so as I was saying, my daughter-in-law and her father, yeah, basically he is in critical condition and he's not expected to live. So it's not a very nice thing for my poor daughter-in-law, Angela, to have to go over there and she's, had to, she's gone over on her own and she's got no other relatives over there. Her mother is here and... Um, my son stayed behind as well because they were just in the middle of moving so you know when it rains it pours the saying that, that I always say well you don't get thrown too much at you that you can't handle you only get thrown what you can handle so they've got to be strong and they've got us family here to help with anything but of course um, we're not over in the UK, so can't really do anything for Angela. She's got to be a um, big, brave girl all on her own, which is not nice at these times. I'm just finger popping the very edges, but I will get round and do that. At a Anyway, anyhow, that is so nice and bright. I'm loving it already. I did have green to go in there, but I think I've got more than enough. Those colours will gel nicely. I don't want to swipe with black, but I am going to swipe with this very dark navy that I made. So I just put the uh, phalo blue in, and then I added a nice big dollop of black, and I also added some dark green. And this makes a really deep navy so much better than black. So, 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 I am going to, should I, or shouldn't I? Thinking whether I should go through the middle? Yes, I'll go through the centre. Just a very, I'm just trying to do a very tiny line. Because I don't want the navy to take over. Uh, even though it's so tiny, it can often, um, yeah rule the roost but I don't mind it looking as though it has some uh, negative space I've just got like a fract fracturize there usually happens if you drop a bit of um, alcohol into it or something like that so I'm not sure what's made that happen I'm not sure what I've dripped on that to make that go into that kind of fracture okay swifty swipe time my homemade swifty swipe I just cut out a piece of the soft plastic file divider i cut them into different shapes for different swipes like they're good to do a round of one when you want to do a starburst 
it's just attaching the so it's the soft bit on the bottom attaching it to uh, I've just used an old spatula um, and I like it that you, you've got a little bit more control because you're holding on the handle so here we go I'll start in the center and work out so it's just the tippy tippy end in the paint just dragging it through to you yourself nice and slowly just relax it's all good just nice and easy just pull it towards you Ooh, those colors just make me feel good they're just such feel-good colors bright and uplifting so who could be sad with those thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't subscribed please do so and if you're new to my channel have a look at my um, YouTube page channel page and have a look through all the exciting videos I have there for you for different things there's beginners videos there's different techniques videos there is paint mixing like custom paint mixing videos I have there I have the videos on making up pouring medium, uh, how to mix it to your paint. So I get asked so often for all those things and they're all right there in my uh, video collection. Uh, just teeny, teeny, tiny drop it into the paint again. So I have to do a correction as well today. I did post a video a couple of days ago talking about a lady that had her 13 year old daughter had a stroke and was in Michi Michigan hospital um, and I said her name was Kaylee well I have a, a I have a, a correction okay the mommy's name was Haylin hey h-a-y l-i-n L-Y-N, sorry, Crease, with a K-R-E-E-S-E. -E -E. So, Hailing Crease, this is a shout out to you, my love, to stay strong. We are all thinking and praying for you and your daughter. And your daughter's name is Lainey, uh, is the daughter's name. And I said Kaylee. So, it's Lay, L-A-Y. It's, well, it's, it's uh, uh, said Lainey. Laney and she's in Michigan Mott's Children's Hospital and that's where the nurses are tending to Laney Laney um, that also had a little look in on uh, my videos of the paint pouring because um, Halen was watching them so uh, it was just a correction because I mispronounced the names wrong so I did I just wanted to correct that so I'm just hoping that things have improved for you both I'm hoping the nurses um, have heard about the shout out for them if anybody's in Michigan um, they're the nurses in the Michigan Mott's Children's Hospital looking after Kate uh, oh, I'm saying it again Laney Laney Crease and the Mama's Hailing Crease. So I just wanted to get the names. Um, uh, and yeah, if you have any uh, updates for us, Hailey, on how your daughter's Hailing, how your daughter is doing, please let us know because a lot of people actually commented and sent their best wishes and regards um, on the video on the last video I did. So yeah. I think it was the video on my waterfall pour that uh, got the shout out there but yeah just so sorry that I did I <laughs> mispronounced the name so all, all, all good now okay just gonna get my little heat wand I call it my magic wand so that the swifty swipe swifty swipe work perfect you're all in control with it it's it's great little swipe tool you can cut bits out of soft plastic and 
uh, create your own different shapes and things customize customize it okay I've got my heat wand that I've been using basically ever since I got it I have hardly well I haven't used my big butane torch um, and I certainly will but at the moment I'm getting such good results from this well maybe there you go maybe I should do the test I should see what results I get on the one side from my butane which will be good either one I'll just do the one side if, if the thing is 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 not the actual results because the results are similar I believe it's um, the ability for people who uh, don't like having that great big butane torch and are scared of it and might drop it or might burn themselves and you have absolutely have to have a fire extinguisher um, so this one is a plug-in I've got it on an extension lead it's very simple to use the cord doesn't get in the way because you've got two hands normally if you have only got one hand then you would put the cord up around your neck so everything is workable if you just think about it so this little heat tool is great for people or elderly that don't want the worry of the butane gas so I'm going to turn this little magic heat one do its thing just brings up the cells slower so it's not at all burning any of the paint and obviously uh, after you've heated up the paint with waving over it develops for quite a little while after but look at those cells that I'm getting regardless they're absolutely gorgeous on both sides oh oh my gosh look at those that one has clustered you know clumped together which I love the look but but look at those they're all just like floating there they're actually both gorgeous e either way each one works as good as the other I can see that that is plain to see they both get brilliant cells but that's more to do with your pouring medium and your paint quality so they both work it's just this one is a lot safer it's plug in you don't have to keep changing gas cylinders or worry about leaving a gas cylinder on and and you don't have to have a fire extinguisher but even though every place that you're doing paint and anything you know it's always good to have a fire extinguisher so that one's very safe easy to use very simple um, and the other one is in, in if you're proficient and you're confident then obviously continue which you'll, you'll use whatever suits you best it's just giving me as an online tutorial artist it's just giving you options ideas um, yeah and I am look at this look at this look at look at you it is so bright vibrant oh my goodness that is fantabulous the cells are absolutely gorgeous 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 they are stunners oh you couldn't wish for anything more than that with the they're not perfectly little round cells and cell but they're cells within cells they're gorgeous shapes they tell a story in there they're just beautiful I'm really really happy with that result so I hope you like this it's colorful it's popped it's a pop color uh, it's so much brighter so I'll take some photos as it's drying when it's dry I will put a little photo or video on my uh, acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page for you all to have a squizzy of when it's fully dry that's what I usually do with most of my work that people ask me to put dry versions on there I just do a video when they're dry sitting on my tile 
um, to let you see the end results but that is so bright and vibrant it has to lift the spirits I could go in and do some ballooning but I know that I've had so many people scream at me just do one without balloons but you know again it's up to the artist whoever you may be it's up to you and not what anybody else tells you so bye for now guys uh, please be kind to one another until next time see you again soon bye